Hello everyone, in this channel Health and Fit, the goal is to give all the information that make you do your own diet and advise other, not to give you a program to follow for one, two weeks or a couple of months and then you go back like what you were. That's the purpose of this channel, is to change your thinking and your habits. In this video, I'll talk about three important points at the beginning of any type of diet, whatever the age you will start with. The first point is the insulin, the second point is the growth hormone, and the third point is the cortisol. If you want to know what they do to your body and how can you drive it where you want to reach, stay until the end of this video but if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe let's get started i am amin and you are watching health and fit welcome back why are we gaining more weight? I'll try to simplify this video as possible. But before we start, I want you to go and grab your coffee or tea to make sure that you will be focused on what we are going to talk about today. You have three hormones that control whether you will lose weight or gain weight. First hormone is the insulin and I want you to highlight this word insulin. When your insulin spikes, it makes all the cells of your body to open, to expand, which means that whatever you will eat, it will be stored in the fat stores. People that reach 200 kilos, 300 kilos, all of that because the insulin is high it's open all the cells so what is the thing that causes the spikes of insulin is sugar so how can i decrease the spikes of the insulin simply keep the insulin at the lowest level hmm how simple don't eat sugar as long as you are away from sugar it's almost impossible to gain more weight so as long as you don't eat sugar your cells are closed like a doors that 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 are closed and the only thing that could open it is a key and this and this key is the insulin and the second point is the growth hormone this growth hormone as long as it's high your burning rate is high whatever you will eat it's gonna burn it and it make your health better and your bones stronger and makes for you a good muscle hmm so this growth hormone is very nice so i mean tell me how can i increase my growth hormone you can increase it by three things first is to sleep and i mean by that is to sleep at night not people like that they say like but i sleep like between six to seven hours uh, during the day like uh, in, the, in the afternoon i sleep like six seven hours no it's only come at night and the second thing is don't eat sugar or you can do fasting you know how many percentage when you are fasting how many percentage it increases your growth hormone how many percentage yes 100 percent 200 percent 300 percent it increases 2000 percent when you're in a fasted state i'll make a special video just about fasting as long as you are fast your growth hormone is 2000 percent so that's why we say it's good to do exercises in the morning because you burn fat completely because the growth hormone is high and the insulin is low that's why it starts immediately the burning state from the first minute you walk or you run or you do any type of sports that's why i usually tell anyone after you finish gym don't go to eat apple or banana because we want the growth hormone to be at the highest level because as long as your growth hormone is high you are in a burning state but when you eat sugar the insulin spikes who is the enemy of the insulin who the growth hormone decreases immediately got it that's why growth hormone is high insulin is low insulin is high growth hormone is low and the third hormone 
is the cortisol hormone. If the cortisol it spikes, it makes the insulin to spike. And if the insulin spikes, what will happen? I think all of you know, all the fat stores will open and then we will gain more weight. And as we talked in the previous video, if your insulin is high, your immunity decreases by 50%. That's why some people are getting uh, more weight and they don't eat sugar, but their cortisol is high. That's why it makes the insulin even high. Even when you feel a lot of time that you are hungry, it means your cortisol is high. Another point about the cortisol is vitamin C, like orange, lemon, etc. If vitamin C is high, cortisol is low. And if you cannot buy those type of fruits, you can buy uh, vitamin, Z, uh, vitamin C complex. Uh, but it has to be natural, not you spend the packet like this and you see like PHC, PH chemical names. No, it has to be whole food. So the summary of this video of how can I lose weight? Low insulin, low cortisol, high growth hormone. Now, you know all the ways that can drive you to reach your goal. That's all for this video guys. If you like it, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and comment below and see you in the next video. Bye.